Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. And, well, no, you did not win a prize, despite what anybody in the comments purporting to be me may tell you. Ever since we released the Brookville a couple of years ago, it's our 38 millimeter dress watch, kind of like a Sarbish, Date Justice um, hybrid, if you will. Uh, many people have been asking us to do a 41 millimeter version. So today's your day releasing the Brookville, which is now the 41 millimeter version. It will be called the Upper Brookville. See what I did there? I didn't want to go Brookville 41. I thought that was too much on the nose. So Upper Brookville. And Upper Brookville actually is a town on Long Island, just so you know. Uh, so Upper Brookville meaning a, a larger size. Four uh, styles to show you. All new dials, not in the regular Brookville collection, really not in any of the Islander collection. Excuse me. I think you're going to really dig them. And we've also done a couple of upgrades here. Uh, so on these watches, you're going to see we are doing a custom signed rotor. Uh, it's a blue rotor with the Islander name on it, and you'll see. And the clasp is a four position, nicer clasp than that uh, flip lock deployment that's so popular on so many of the other Islanders. These are things that people have been asking for. Oh, also the introduction of a new bracelet. Again, this bracelet though is just for the Upper Brookville uh, because it's um, a 22 millimeter lug because it's a larger case. For my own wrist check, I am sporting, well, the Phoebus um, collab I did with the Reefmaster. Uh, I really, I wasn't so sure how this watch would sell. Um, I was kind of 50-50 on it. Well, it, it, it's selling. Um, I, we're down to like the last, I think, 15 or so units. Um, maybe even by the time you see this video, the watch will be gone. That would be nice for me, but for you, if you want it, uh, hopefully there's a couple available. Now my other wrist, uh, that Marathon Stainless Steel Navigator. Cannot believe the buzz this thing attracted from tremendous, tremendous names in online watch blogging. Um, I've been wearing mine for a couple of days, uh, excuse me, a couple of weeks now at this point. Super comfortable, lightweight, looks great, uh, very functional, extremely, extremely accurate quartz movement, like half a second a day or something. Pretty cool. Uh, anyway, that's what I've got on my wrist. Uh, let's see the Upper Brookville. Okay, so before we begin with the, um, with the Upper Brookville, I want to just hijack this commercial to give you another commercial. Uh, some of the original Brookvilles are back in stock. Um, the ISL 38, the 39, the Linden Dial 131. Um, the 39's gotten some updates. It's no longer fluted, uh, six o'clock date, uh, smooth, um, sorry, three link bracelet, etc. I just want to kind of make note, note that these three are back in stock, um, but also that they all now, these, the ones that came back in stock, and you'll see the website, it's been updated. It's got the custom engraved rotor, or the custom etched rotor, and then it's got a new clasp, this um, four position micro adjust clasp. They all have that. So again, you go to the website and you'll see, this guy's still sporting the old one. This was, we brought this one back from Wind Up. By the way, the watches you're gonna see today, we're all at wind up, which is why they are going to have this little Islander tag on them, because that's how we identified them to people. Um, but yeah, so these were shown at wind up. Uh, we weren't selling them yet, uh, so we want to get kind of you know kind of get the feedback and you know maybe give a little buzz. Hey, come to wind up and you see the new Upper Brookville. Uh, people did dig them, um, perhaps not in the exact order that I thought they would. Um, but that's what is so fun about this because you never know what's going to happen. So we're doing that damn light. So we're doing the Upper Brookville in four colors. We have a linen dial, but it's like a coral peachy color. We have it in a steel gray. Uh, we have it in a ice blue birch dial, or I think I'm calling it blue birch. And we have it in uh, like an electric purple a sunburst purple dial. Looks really cool. So as is usual, they're all the same um, same case size and stuff. The, the bracelets do differ, but they're all the same price, uh, $379. Um, so why don't we just start with, obviously the one that I kind of really dig is that blue, that blue birch dial. See the patterning on it, the, in, the texturing. I'm gonna, let's see, how close can we come? That looks really nice, right? What is that? It's, is it gone? Yeah, it's gone. Okay, yeah, looks really sweet, doesn't it? So these are all going to have the rotor and stuff, but we'll get into that. So why, why don't why don't we get into it? So it is a forty-one millimeter diameter case. It's just ten point three millimeters thick, from the sapphire case back to the 
anti-reflective inner, inner AR coated sapphire crystal. It is 47 and a half lug tip to lug tip. And no, your eyes do not deceive you. All of these bracelets are going to be negative and link. No, they are not compatible with the original Brookville because they are 22 millimeter. Let's get into that. 22 millimeter bracelet. This is a new kind of bracelet that we developed. Strap code would call this end mill. Um, you may have your own name for it. I won't say it. You know why. More than likely, I will not say it. Water resistant to 100 meters. Screw down crown as is the usual. It's really just our regular Brookville, just upsized. That is truly what I wanted to do. The weight is 130 grams. Uh, let's go to the case back real quick. So you'll see. Come on. Okay, you want to go this way? We'll go this way. Aren't rotors just the funnest? Is that a word? I don't think it is. So it's a blue plated rotor with the Islander logo and Islander name done in white text. Uh, looks super nice. Uh, that's the only treatment that we gave it, but I think it really adds super pop. Uh, the, I'm sorry, I said the crown is screwed down to show you it's got the logo. Let's go through the bracelet real quick. So there is going to be three different bracelets you, you're going to see. There's, this one is on two of them, and then we have the traditional brushed and polished multi-link and, uh, th and the three-link bracelet that's um, a full top brush. And they all have this new class. So it's a four-position micro. We did hear grumblings from people that they wanted more micro just in their clasp, and they did not enjoy that clasp. Now, let me tell you why I like the old clasp. And again, we look at things from totally different perspectives, me as the seller and you as the customer. And I don't know, I really didn't plan on talking about this, but I want to. I like these clasps. Yes, they're, they are very inexpensive. That is very true, but they are re easily replaceable. It's held by a spring pin here. It's held by a spring pin here. So if this fold over fails, which it can, or if any other part of the clasp fails, which, hey, it springs and everything, you can, we can just send you a new clasp. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who have already had us send you a new clasp. When you get into a, a, a clasp like this, it is permanently affixed to the end of the bracelet. Okay, so uh, if the clasp were to fail, which it's a better clasp, so it shouldn't, you know, it's kind of a little bit more of a pain in the rump to replace the clasp, but that's kind of my commercial. 379, I went over the price. The movement, oh, I'm sorry. The movement is a Miyota 9015. So that's a high beat movement. Uh, it's high beat for me because most of my movements are 21.6. Uh, I kind of get flack sometimes for saying that, but 28 means it, it ticks at eight beats, uh, eight ticks per second, a very smooth and fluid seconds hand. The, the hands on this are done in silver. The markers are silver. The loom is awesome. We'll see the loom in a minute. The date is at the six. Uh, I want to discuss the bracelet just for a quick moment. You are pro uh, solid end link, solid link. This bracelet and the and the other one on this dial. I want to just clear the air now. Right now, it's it's actually sized with pins instead of screws. The normal Islander fare is always sized with screws. I went with pins on this one simply because I wanted the links to be super thin and felt, and getting a screw into it uh, was not possible. Uh, so. I'm going to include a, a tool if you purchase it uh, to size it, uh, but that's just kind of my own little thing. Um, let's see. Oh, 22 at the watch. This is another thing we did, which is kind of interesting. 16 at the clasp. So it's a six millimeter taper on all of them. I kind of like that because it, it, it helped with the wearability, made the watch more comfortable. Okay, enough. I'm picking up the uh, coral linen dial. So it's the same. Very similar texture to our ISL 131, just done in like a salmon-y, corally kind of color. Looks really nice. Silver hands, silver markers. You'll see the loom in a minute. Let me just move the hands a bit. There we go. I will zoom in on the dial a bit. Real men wear pink, right? It's really not pink though. It's like it's more of a salmon-y color. Isn't that nice though? Look at the reflection. Look at the lines in the dial. Looks sweet. Really, really sweet. Islander logo and name done. It's applied. It's in chrome. Applied indices. Matching chapter ring. Beautiful case finishing. Very thin. 10.3. So this guy comes on a brush and polish bracelet and he actually, or she, actually is sized with screws I said this one and the uh, three linker size with screws. The two other bracelet, the, the two miles with the other bracelet are sized with pins. Okay, so that's number two. 
Let's get into electric grape. How are you feeling about this one? It's like the sunburst grape. It like just totally comes to life. It looks awesome. I it's got the three link brush bracelet on top, brushed on top. It is sized with screws, solid M link, solid link, beautiful case back. You can see the movement, uh, the dial. Check it out. It's gorgeous. Great coloring. I wanted something that popped and came to life. And I think, I think that was accomplished. And again, I didn't want to do colors that we already did in other styles. Um, I, I don't want to do, you know, like in the, in, in the SKX type watches, we'll do a black dial in a 43, a black dial in a 38. I guess that's kind of like standard fare, but for these, these are all special watches. And I, I just didn't want to do something that was, so when we did the linen, we did it in coral in, in the larger size. So, so it kind of worked. And then the last, the last upper Brookville I will show you is again on that, on this new style bracelet for us. And it is a dark gray, a steel gray. And we've gone ahead and done the hands and indices in gunmetal for a nice contrast the contrast against the gray i don't know i feel it just goes better and with the steel of the case and the bracelet i think this one looks really sweet but i will say in all honesty this is the one that was picked up the least at the show uh, the most was definitely the blue and then the, the linen but looks really nice framed date at the six also done in gun metal you can move the hands out of the way for a bit just so you can kind of see what's going on underneath there we go and then, of course, like I said, it's still got the rotor and the upgraded clasp. Okay, um, it's a matte gray. It's not sunburst. I think that's going to be it for that. Why don't we um, have fun with Loom? Here you go. So blue um, birch is on the left. Uh, and then the other one, so the BGW-9, and then the gray is on the far right. Those two are BGW-9. And then you have the coral dial. And you have the purple dial done in C3. Uh, double tick at the 12 for your alignment. Um, but no problem reading these in the dark, right? Really looks nice. So like I said, we went, you know, we went with BGW9 in two of them and uh, C3 on the other two. So here you go with that blue on my six and a half, six and three quarter interest. And even though it is a 41 and there's really no, there's no large bezel to speak of, um, I think it fits me quite well, especially due to the curving or hugging nature of the end links. I'm below the bone right now. I know a lot of people don't wear it like this, they'll wear it like this. I'm not a fan of that, but I'm kind of showing you where my wrist is even smaller. It definitely fits me quite well. I think it's going to be a popular watch with a lot of people, um, various wrist sizes. Um, I, I, again, especially the ones who actually asked for it, because um, they, you know, seven and a quarter inch or seven and a half inch wrist, and they're looking for something larger. So I think uh, I think that's going to do it for us today. Uh, this has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, showing you the new Upper Brookville and kind of the restocking of the original Brookville and some nice changes we made. Please like the video if you enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Questions, comments, concerns, anything else, you can put it down below. And I'll be sure to address it as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.